I'm Stuart Whitney. Um, worked here at Anderson Glass for about two years now. Always have been kind of an amateur artist. Um, and one day decided I wanted to do stained glass. Went to see how much it was to take a class, and it was like 900 bucks. So I said, screw that. I found a book at a yard sale and <laughs> figured it out from there. <laughs> I get to come in and make things with my hand every day. And you know, a lot of times now in the economic discussions, people talk about wistfully the old days when we used to manufacture things here in this country and we used to make things with our hand. And you know, there's something to that. There's something to coming in, going to work with tools, making something and having something to show for it at the end of the day or making progress on a project that you're working on that's really very fulfilling. Actually, I started out college in engineering and decided that uh, math really wasn't my forte and ended up as a business major. Um, my experience before here was actually uh, high tech in sales and marketing, uh, selling houses in Monterey, Pebble Beach, California, and then uh, moving out here and becoming an artist full time. My name is Andrew Olson. I am um, work for Jim Anderson's Stained Glass Studio here. I'm from uh, outside of Boston, living back there right now. I've worked here, what, six months? Six or eight months. I was still in restaurants, and we always had stained glass in restaurants, so the woman that was doing the stained glass was retiring. She said, I'm going to teach you how to do this. Uh, 1986 or 87. It's very cathartic. Working in glass, cutting glass, letting it together, soldering is all, it's very, very cathartic. And it's also, you end up with something that's really beautiful, it's very unique in the art world. It's not flat paint, or it's not uh, moving images, not any of these things, but you're actually working with light. You're, you're doing art with available light. And these windows here will change depending on the kind of time. It's really, it's a wonderful art. I remember when I first came into apply, I brought my portfolio. And he said, oh, yeah, I think you had seen some of the pieces before, right? Yeah. He said, oh, I know who you are. And you, he immediately said, um, you know, you have good construction, but I would, there's a few things that I would change in your design. And he has completely revolutionized what I think about glass. I mean, totally, totally revolutionized everything I do in design and construction, all these things. And I'm sure that I've only just begun. But some people sent a image of a window that they're, their ancestors in England and they wanted a duplicate. I really enjoy that kind of thing because I, my second job, I'm a historian. So I really, um, I'm drawn to the historical sorts of pieces. And the medieval churches were kind of what really brought that into prominence. They, they started making these beautiful windows for the illiterate people who were in the church in Italy. So you'd walk into the church and you had a sunny side, south side of the church, and you'd have a north side and they would tell the story of the Bible in images. So you'd walk in and you'd got to get an idea of what people were talking about. And interestingly, they always put the good guys on the sunny side, all in bright colors, and they put the bad guys on the uh, north side in the dark colors. And just that kind of, that whole atmosphere of being able to produce these things, to tell a story, to have a function, more than just keeping the weather out and painting with light. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful.